why only 4% of people succeed and 96% fail. So let's talk about the 96% first. And welcome to your daily motivation and inspiration with Dan. So 96% of people fail. And it's because those people know more about what's going on in Hollywood. They know who's pregnant. They know who's got an illness. They know who's cheating on somebody else. They know all the stuff that's going on in TV land. And they know what is happening on in media, but they don't know what's happening in their lives. They don't know what's happening in their own little world and taking care of that. And they also don't know what they don't know. They're not thinking about what they're thinking. Now there's 96% and there's uh, there's 96% of people that that fail and 4% that are succeeding. What are the 4% doing? What are they looking at for? What are they achieving? They have their health in check. They're doing things for the health, for their well-being. They're taking care of the relationships. You know, it doesn't and they're also taking care of the career. But you know what? It doesn't make sense to make all sorts of riches, you know, to be the richest person in the graveyard. That doesn't make any sense at all either. So the 4% aren't doing that either. They're not putting all the riches and everything else before their health, before their relationships. They have those things in check. I mean, if you think about it for a second, you know, uh, as an example, my friend Jim Edwards, this guy was living in a trailer park, you know, and he was able to take that experience and move to living a life where he has a beautiful property, a beautiful property with uh, trees surrounding it, and he has a lifestyle that he likes. And in fact, most recently, him and his partner successfully achieved selling $10 million of a service that he provides. Now, he could have easily been affected by the people around him and said, this is my environment, this is my life and did nothing about it. But yet, he was able to transform that. But there are people still living in that trailer park, as you mentioned the other day. People are still living in that trailer park. They're still living the simple life. They're still watching TV. They're still focusing on the same things. They are not changing their mind. They're not changing their focus. They're not changing what they're doing. That really matters. The 4% know how to do that. The 4% read, study, learn. They do something different every day, every week. They don't just do what is not normal and what's common. And besides that, when you think about it, our mind is a critical factor here because there is a part of our mind that's controlling 96% of our lives. And it's an invisible part of our mind. It's invisible, we don't control it, but we can give it information. We can think what we want to think, we can talk to it, we can have a dialogue and realize this is not the life that I want. What do I want now? What can I get? What can I change here? We start asking questions and as soon as we ask questions, there's a part of our mind called the reticular activating system. It starts to answer those questions. It wants to solve them. So we have more power than we think. And if you think that people are just born into wealth and riches and so on and they have everything, think again. I mean, look at Jim Edwards. Look at how he's living his life. He's no longer in the trailer park. He has a beautiful property. I don't know how many acres, but he has a beautiful property, beautiful life, and his health is way up where he needs to to have it, and he is living a full and happy life. He's living the life of the 4% that I'm talking about. 96% of people are failing. Hopefully you're not in that boat, because right now you can change that, and you can focus on what you want for your life, for your health, for your future, for your family. And I'm challenging you to do that. So that's everything I have for you today. But you know what? Start thinking about that. What can you think about? What can you do to be the best that you can be? Be a better version of yourself. If you're not watching this video on my YouTube channel, head over there. I have other videos like this that will help you live a full and happy life. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on my next video.